Okay, back to the basics of making kombucha. Uh, now, after you have done, just made your basic kombucha, which consists of, if you already have a SCOBY, uh, this is green tea kombucha, and this is two gallons, two and a half gallons right here. And so, basically what you do is for every gallon of green tea, and so if you're making like a gallon worth of green tea kombucha, what you're going to do is you're actually going to use eight uh, green tea tea bags and you're going to use one cup of honey and then you'll actually use a gallon worth of, of like I said green tea and you'll mix it all together now when you mix it all together you're gonna to make sure your green tea is, is cooled off because you don't want to put your scoby in there while your green tea is uh, hot because you can kill the bacteria and kill your scoby and also with that, when you're making uh, a new batch, I always leave a cup of the old uh, kombucha in there because that acts as a quick starter to make sure that my, my kombucha starts fermenting again. And so again, but I'm gonna show you how to make a kombucha without having a SCOBY and how you get all that started as well. So, but well, as you can see here, there's a cloth over this. So if you're not familiar with kombucha at all and everything, because it's fermented and because you add honey or sugar, depending on which kind you're making, uh, it can attract fruit flies because you have to, again, once again, put in a warm place for three to four weeks. And so you don't want any fruit flies to get in there. So you need to put a cloth over it, but it needs to be a cloth where it's able to breathe. And so this one is a cloth where it's able for air to get through and oxygen to get through and carbon dioxide to come out and so but it also keeps the fruit flies out and so you don't want any fruit flies in there and so as soon as you say that some people can get freaked out about that and so well, how do I know if I didn't get any in there so we're gonna look and show you how we can know so as we open this up we'll see we can look inside and it kind of looks like an egg drop soup kind of doesn't it and so you can see there's like foam around the side and things like that. And there's a huge scoby in there. And I'm gonna push this down a little bit, see if you can see that scoby. I actually just stirred this up. And uh, so now that's why it's cloudy like this. But I'm gonna take the scoby out so you can see what the scoby looks like when it's out. But I'm gonna put some gloves on first just to kind of for sanitary prop purposes. Okay, so I'm gonna put some gloves on. Doctor? Doctor? <laughs> Gotta throw in a little daddy humor there. All right. <laughs> also gotta keep my wife shaking her head over there too. <laughs> and my kids watching this, I know they'll just like, oh brother, there's dad again. But you know, you gotta be consistent in who you are, you know I me? Mean? All right, so here we go, I'm gonna get the Scoby out, and I actually have a couple Scobies in here. This one actually, uh, I when I divided up, it um, tore on me, and so it has a hole in it. And I'll show you the hole. It has a hole right there, but it's still the Scoby is still okay. And so there's also another Scoby way down in there, but I can't get it right now. But when I pour some of the the kombucha out, I'll be able to get to it. So I'm going to rinse this glove off though. Keep it on, and I'm gonna pour some of my green tea kombucha or June kombucha into this container with my scoby, and I'm doing that so I can so I can have some make sure I have enough liquid for the next batch. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So this is my my scoby in there, and it has about a cup or a cup and a half or so of green tea and so that's going to be used for my next batch of kombucha all right and so now I got this all good and set and so the next process is we're going to and this is I've done this many different ways I've done it where I've actually poured the juice into the bottle and then into each bottle 
and then I would pour the kombucha into each bottle, which takes like forever. And so I've learned a different technique that I'm going to show you here that helps speed things up. Okay, rinse my hand off again. And so here I have an empty container. Now I'm gonna take this empty container and right here, right here I haven't actually added my ginger bug yet. So I'm gonna add that to, to the container of liquid that I, let's see if I can get that down, that I made earlier. This is all my juice and my, that has some of my green tea in there. So I'm gonna pour that ginger bug into there, okay? So, so this right here, this liquid right here that we see, I'm gonna scoot this back a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Here we go. Move this out the way. So this liquid right here has fresh ginger, about a pound of fresh ginger, uh, has actually about three to four pounds of fresh apple juice, uh, apple made from four, three to four pounds of apples. And then it has fresh turmeric in there and three fresh whole lemons that were taken through the juicer as well. And then it has uh, four, four green tea bags, uh, uh, has green tea, about a gallon of green tea made from four green tea bags. Okay, and I, again, I did that to, I wouldn't normally put that liquid of the green tea in there, but because this one is sat a little bit too long, it's so sharp on me that I don't want it to be that sharp. So I'm going to cut it a bit. And so when I say cut it, kind of tone it down by adding more liquid so it's not as potent. Okay, so here's my container right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some juice in there. Let me try to adjust this again here. I'm doing this all by myself, so gotta make these adjustments. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take some juice first, and uh, I'm gonna give this one more mix. I already mixed it up, but I wanna make sure all of this stuff is mixed up, all those flavors and that ginger bug and everything is, is just completely mixed up in there. So I mixed that up. Now I'm gonna pour some of this over into the container. I'm gonna go about, about a third of the way, or a fourth of the way, something like that. Yeah, so here we go. So we, where are we at here? I'm just kind of eyeballing this. This is about, it's a little bit over one quart. Of, and so now I'm gonna pour the fresh, and I'm gonna use this because there's a lot of yeast in my um, kombucha and sometimes it can just you can it can start creating a scoby in your bottles by themselves uh, in each individual bottle which is, that's going to happen no matter what uh, but I'm doing this just to kind of strain out some of that yeast so you don't get a lot of yeast into your drink and so I'm gonna pour it through the strainer And I'm gonna stop for a second. And I'm gonna give it a taste to see what it's tasting like. To, if it's still, this taste is too strong, too vinegary, then I might add some more uh, fresh liquid or some water to it or something like that to cut it down a little bit. So I'm gonna wash my hands once again. And I'm gonna grab me a cup. I'm just grabbing a little taster cup so I can taste it to see what it's what it's tasting like. Cause I don't want to do all this and then not like the flavor and bottle it all up. So I want to make sure it's a flavor that I that I like. So. <laughs> So that's still a little, still strong. So I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna taste, I think I got a lot of turmeric in here, not enough apple in this. Let me taste this by itself. Okay, so I, I like to do things to the extreme. And uh, if I had more apple juice, 
I would add apple juice to this, but I don't have apple juice, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do like a, an audible here and appeal to my wife's good graces and see what she can give me a hand here. So what I'm gonna ask her, but she's listening to me right now, but I'm gonna act like she's not listening to me. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna ask her if she has any more of her homemade applesauce. And if she does, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of her homemade applesauce and I'm gonna add it to here because it's nice and sweet and it's delicious. And I'm thinking if I whisper but we're enough where she can hear me and I can say how delicious it is, that the butter are up enough to let me have some. And so I'll pour that in here so we can get a little bit more sweetness to this. And so I think that'll really help out the kombucha overall. Okay, so I'm gonna ask my wife now. Honey? You should pause that because it's down under. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she said I could have some, but I have to go underneath that. Uh, we have a huge walk-in crawl space that we can store stuff in, so I have to go get some. So I'm gonna pause this now, and I'm gonna go get some of that apple sauce and add it to here because I want some um, some more sweetness to this because I want a yummy flavored kombucha that is still extreme, but that's, that's yummy. Okay, so uh, we're gonna stop right here for just a moment.